that was, of course, Vanguard Choir with The Lord Is My Light. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to what David had to say in Psalm 51, verse number 12. Now, the background of this particular um, scripture and also this chapter is that David had done some naughty things, had been confronted by, of course, the prophet Nathan, and David took full responsibility for what he had done. Now he is in the process of reconciliation and restoration with the Lord. And he says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. So David had felt the loss of fellowship with God. All of a sudden, because of his sin and because of what he had done, he had broken his relationship with God, and he felt the estrangement. So what did he do? He says, Lord, now that I've repented, now that, Lord, I have done what is required to bring about, of course, a proper, you know, restoration and restitution, he says, restore to me the joy of my salvation. David had felt the loss of his salvation. He had felt that broken relationship. He felt, of course, how the wall had come up between him and God. And so now that it was removed, he wanted to be restored to that deep-seated contentment, that happiness can, that can only come from the Lord, that fulfillment, that completeness that only the Lord can bring. And he says, Lord, also uphold me. Lord, sustain me. Be my anchor, Lord, be the avenue in which I operate, and always give me a willing spirit that, Lord, I would always keep short accounts with you, and that, Lord, I would allow you to speak into my life, whether it is through your word or through other individuals, whether it is by the Holy Spirit, either way, Lord, let me always be willing to do what it is that you want me to do. So here he is, just asking two things in this verse. Lord, first of all, I need the joy of that wonderful salvation, that wonderful redemption restored into my life. And then I need your strength and I need you to uphold me and make sure that, Lord, I continue to have a willing spirit and an obedient heart and attitude. And that's what David's cry was, and I trust that it'll be our cry today. Now we have for you right now, Vineyard with more love, more power. Hey. 